These videos will make you question everything, including reality. So remember, this is for entertainment purposes only. Let's check them out. The following video took place late at night in a home owned by a man named Robert. Robert lived by himself and often had family coming and visiting him. But during the clip, you're about to see he was the only person home. It happened when Robert was struggling to go to sleep, so decided to go downstairs and play some of the guitar before bed. But something else must have had the same idea, because what happens next is shocking. So I couldn't sleep because I felt like something was watching me. You ever felt like that? Uh, I'm all alone. I come out here to play my guitar because I can't sleep. So I look over here at this thing because I feel like it's freaking watching me. And I could have swore I'd seen it move. Oh, see, that's what I'm talking Mm-mm. That's that bullshit right there. <laughs> Now that's a real response right there, bro. That, that's a me response. That's what I would've did, except I would've left. He stopped and, and looked back at it. I'd've kept going. Oh, hell no. I'm done with it. Nothing's going in the dump right now. No, I got something for that. Yeah, I got something for that right now. To kick the video off, Robert explains his situation and claims that he was sensing that he was being watched. This gave him an eerie feeling when he was in his living room and he pinned it down to the teddy bear sitting in a box and somehow he said it moved. Now at first, this was completely unbelievable. But luckily, just as Robert told his story, the bear moved again just to confirm it. Scared but smart, Robert did what he should have done and put the bear in the trash. But no one believed what he saw, so he actually ended up being checked for mental illnesses. To his fortune, he wasn't diagnosed with anything and showed the video he captured to his family, but they are still skeptical to this day. James Talbot was an overnight security officer at a mall and usually worked on the stairwell to make sure that no unwelcome guests came up when time got late. The upcoming clip took place at roughly 1 a.m., where nothing normally happens. At this time, James tends to record himself and post to his YouTube channel, and he's lucky that he had this habit, because if he didn't, he wouldn't have filmed what was about to happen. Man, I've been clocked in eight minutes. Hey. Hey. I'm not finna go check shit. I'm not going down there. Oh, goddamn, the door lock. Oh. Damn. If it is somebody down there, they're gonna stay their goddamn ass down there. I'm not going. Shit. Hurry up and get a DB. Suddenly, footsteps could be heard from the bottom of the stairwell, and doing his job, James called out to the person guilty. But to his dismay, no one responded. Now, instead of going downstairs to investigate the noise further, James started to feel strangely uncomfortable and ran away from the noise, scared of it, which was- Do you blame him? Bro got one of the, like, creepiest jobs known to man right now. And, and I know they probably ain't paying him enough to have to deal with that. <laughs> I would have left too. It wasn't usual for him. James sprinted down the corridor and into another room where he decided to hide. But suddenly, he heard the noise of a whisper from inside the room. And this is when things got real. Hey, somebody fucking in here with me. I'm up here doing this damn job. These folks want me to do all this walking in the dark. I'm not walking down there in no motherfucking dark. Hey. Hey. Not coming the fuck out there, man. Somebody is down there with me. Somebody in here with me. When I got this job, I told them I don't do things like this. And I got my camera on, bitch. You can go if you just come out. I let you go free. But don't try to just pop out on me. You know what I'm saying? Scare the fuck out of me. Make me shit out on myself on the job. Come on now. Come on now. I'm just trying to get my goddamn hours and go home now. He don't act like he don't hear me. You know you better. Though. Come on. I'm not finna, I'm telling y'all, I'm finna go. And the clock's up going this way. Fuck that. 
Like before, James started begging the supposed break-in culprit to reveal themselves, and even offered to let them go for free. However, no one spoke back. He stood there for a second and thought of what to do next before following his instinct instead of the job. He packed. Bro, you don't see too many people trying to negotiate with something back, <laughs> some type of paranormal being. You don't see that too often. Bro was really like, listen, man, I'll let you go. You can just come on out. Just don't jump out on me, man. He was negotiating his bags, locked up, and left for the night. Now, after doing this, James expected there to have been a robbery overnight and had his excuses ready, but surprisingly, nothing happened. Had he really been going crazy, or did something much deeper occur? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. It was approximately 2 a.m. on a Tuesday night, and a man named Zark was all alone in his house. His family had already moved out prior to this night because the escalating paranormal activity had started to affect them badly. Zark and his family claimed to have experienced several paranormal events prior to this footage. However, none of them come close to what you're about to see. <coughs> the fuck? Where's the cupboard open? The lights are off. You see, I, I normally keep that light on because that's how I get to know the haunting has begun or not. And that's why I've actually covered the lights so that it doesn't glare on my eyes while I'm sleeping. The cupboard is open right now. I'm alone at the room. Now, this night started at a fairly low level on the haunted side of things. All Zark saw was the cupboard open, despite being closed when he fell asleep. But compared to other things he had seen, this wasn't too drastic. However, it was just shortly after that, the ghost started to do something Zark had never seen before. It's at the door. Stop it! Stop it, please! Weirdly, the door started knocking, and the only explanation for this is that it was a spirit on the other side. Zark asks the spirit to stop the knocking, and after some time it stops. But what happens a few minutes later sends chills down Zark's spine. Go f yourself, Jerry. Go f yourself. Shit. Oh, I'm not gonna stay here. Fuck. It's important to note that Zark was completely alone when he heard his kid's voice saying Daddy, so that had to be a mimic. After this, Zark left his apartment immediately and spent the rest of the night in his car. On June 8th of 2014, a Like, what is it about kids' voices in certain, like, like, certain times are, are just, oh my God, creepy. Like, at that time, dark pitch black he's already nervous and scared and to hear like a kid's voice just to say that yeah yeah bro i'd have had to go back and pick my heart up man it would have jumped out of my body <laughs> ain't no way fam <laughs> i don't blame him i wouldn't look back bro uh -uh. 
family was in their living room minding their own business. It was their youngest daughter's birthday and she was upset that she finished opening her presents. However, something much worse was about to happen. I think, I think I can see it on here. Hold on. No, it's stop. Oh, wait, there it is. Let's see if she moves. There it is. Strangely, the doll moves by itself in an eerie fashion, tilting its head to the left as if trying to get a better view of the man. This action is unexplainable because the box was taped shut since the doll had moved before, meaning that no one or nothing could touch the doll and cause it to move. Since it was impossible for it to move alone, the doll's owner considered it to be possessed and added a lot more tape to the box after this incident. However, he weirdly wasn't freaked out and decided to take a close-up video for people wondering what the doll looked like. It was a day after it moved by itself when the video was taken and he explains everything so have a look I don't but I'll get you one I got her about two years ago at a thrift store there were three of them and for whatever reason she was uh, very far away from the other ones and for some reason I just really wanted this one she's very cool I really love the jester style it's cool I don't know if she's ever been opened but I've never opened the box it's taped closed and um, yeah, I just left it there. It's kind of cool. When the man purchased the doll, it was separated from all of the other ones, which immediately made things suspicious. Most stores keep related items together, but clearly the store the doll came from didn't. At least that's what is implied. For all we know, it could have moved on to the other side of the store by its own accord, which makes sense since it showcased its abilities on camera before. From the moment of this video and onwards, the doll continued to be in different positions every morning, but unfazed, the man made sure it stayed on the same shelf forever. Now, I keep telling y'all, man, dolls are like shepherds for the devil. And I can't be a hypocrite because I got a Chucky doll in my house. You know what I mean? Every now and again, I peek over there at him, just make sure he in the right position, make sure he's still there. You know what I mean? But, but these dolls are little devils, bro. And as soon as you see one move, get it out your house. That Chucky ever move, he's gone. He got to go. He's just one of my favorites, though, That growing up. You know what I mean? Chucky was my favorite. So I have one, but he ever is not where I last placed him, he's gone. This YouTuber was exploring the Molly Stark Sanatorium, but although he thought he was alone, he definitely wasn't. Molly Stark Sanatorium is known as one of, if not the most haunted sanatorium in the United States, and the YouTuber, James, was very brave to visit it for some content. The time reached 2 p.m., and he was so deep into the building that all the sunlight had disappeared. It was at this moment that the first hauntings of many occurred.
as James was walking down a dark corridor, the door on the right side of the room opened ever so slightly without anyone there. Now at first, this could have been excused as the wind, but there are two reasons why this is not the case. First of all, as James pointed out, if wind was present in the corridor, then the wire ahead would have moved as well. Second of all, if sunlight couldn't be seen, it makes no sense that wind could have reached the location. With wind being completely eliminated, it left James to believe something else was exploring the sanatorium with him, and this would be confirmed five minutes later. Man, shout out to Urbex Hill. I always like his video clips and different things, man, because he's always willing to go to the places that I would like to go to, but I'm just like, nah, I ain't that crazy. But he crazy enough to do it. Weirdly, a smartly dressed man could be seen across the corridor, walking like a normal human being, except it was far from it. Out of fear, James pulled out a weapon, which is why the camera shook so much. But when he continued forward to try and find the man, no one could be seen. It was an apparition of the ghost trying to scare James, and it was definitely successful. However, it was done yet, and had another appearance hidden up its sleeve. After seeing this hyper-realistic apparition, James decided it was best to leave the sanatorium. He immediately turned back on himself and eventually made it back outside, seeing a couple of moving objects on the way back. But when he made it to the entrance, another apparition was waiting for him. On the balcony at the very height of the building, a female-like figure quickly walked up to watch James leaving the sanatorium. However, it turned back on itself just as fast. James thinks that this was the same ghost appearing as an apparition, but it could have been another one considering the gender swap. I'll let you- That's what I was thinking. It could have been multiple things, beings, people, animals, whatever in there. It could have been multiple of them, bro. <laughs> You're talking about, yeah, I'm strapped, but yeah, I hope you got enough for everybody that could potentially be in there. You answer that question by yourself in the comments. The following video was taken at Evergreen Cemetery in May of 2016. The cemetery is said to be haunted by the ghost of a young woman who lost her baby. She died shortly after and was buried in this cemetery. She has a statue there and is rumored to search for her baby at night. A couple visited the cemetery to see if this ghost was real and decided to record using their drone. And what they caught was beyond shocking.
That's why I stay out of cemeteries at night, bro. Right there. That's the exact reason right there, bro. And look how fast that thing was moving. You can't outrun it. You cannot outrun that if it came at you. You just lucky it went the other way. When the drone stopped to record a grave, a human could be seen bending down next to it as if it was mourning someone. However, when it spotted the drone, it quickly got to its feet and ran away. Weirdly, the run felt smoother than it should be leading the couple to believe it was a ghost, as it could glide through the obstacles, but this is yet to be confirmed. All we know is that the drone didn't pick anything else up that night, despite attempting to chase the supposed ghost. At a radio station in South America, there have been several reports of a little girl causing terror and mayhem around the building. The weird thing is that none of them have ever seen her face to face, and the only sightings come through reflections. For weeks, the staff were collaborating to try and catch the little girl in the act, but none of them have ever come out successful until the following video. It took place at 4 p.m. on a Thursday and was captured using CCTV. Take a look. Did you see it? In a reflective door, the girl could be seen walking past it, but in real life, she was nowhere. As well as this, no shadow could be seen inside her reflection, leading the staff to believe this couldn't be an awful coincidence. After capturing the video, they all argued over whether the girl was a regular spirit or a demon, to which they unanimously ended up voting for demon. Because of this, they blessed the building and tried to get rid of her. But unlike usual, she is still there to this day. On August the 6th, 2021, a woman was left home alone with her dog since her husband had to go out to get his hair cut. Understandably, she wasn't bothered by this and decided to kick back and watch some television, but it didn't take long for her to be interrupted by the doorbell. And after answering it, I bet she wished she never did. Luna, come on. Somehow, no one was on the other side of the door, and the bell was still going off after she opened it, so it definitely wasn't a game of ding-dong ditch. Now at first, the woman brushed this off her shoulder as an issue with the doorbell and hired an electrician to come and fix it. However, when he came round, the ringing stopped, and he inspected it and found no problems. What makes this very strange, though, is that when he left, the ringing continued. The family were forced to move house, and nothing happened after they did. That was until a sleepover. A month after the doorbell incident, came to an end the woman was like like my wife would have went and got in that car and she'd have left until i came home <laughs> and then we'd have had to make some real life decisions bro because she wouldn't have stayed there again by herself at all don't care if she got the dogs or not starting to get comfortable again. It was at this point that she invited her best friend Lucy over to a sleepover and she agreed to it. They used to sleep at each other's houses all the time as children, so they used this as a time to reminisce on those memories. However, little did any of them know that there was a third person at the sleepover. At least, it could have been a person. Chilling here, being a kitty cat. Did you do that? <laughs> Without anyone else in the room, the water bottle topples over by itself. If we can zoom in, we can confirm that no one touched it, meaning that something invisible must have interfered. Both of the women claim that all the windows were closed, so it couldn't have been the wind. A spirit wanted to give them a little fright. But if she thought a self-ringing doorbell and a bottle falling wasn't scary, her ghost was only just getting started. Two days after the sleepover, the woman was sitting on her sofa to watch a TV show and scroll through her phone. It was at this moment that the following incident happened.
Out of nowhere, a couple of books flew from her bookshelf onto the floor. In reaction to this, she immediately stood up and marched to the next room to inform her husband of what happened, to which she was called crazy. But even he was about to be convinced. While he was watching an important... Whatever it is, it doesn't like her. It doesn't like her at all. I don't know if this may be a possible ex of her husband that, that could have died or something like that, and now it's just around them, and it doesn't. she doesn't like her. But something doesn't like her for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> sports game the ghost made a second appearance except this time her husband managed to experience it Fucking water's on. she's flipping out already at the window so it was sensing something had to be <laughs> randomly a knocking sound came from the corridor and the woman instantly went to check it but to her demise no source could be found almost instantly after the same ringing from the old house came back again and as if it was the same ghost as before it stopped just as someone got close to it before carrying on all over again luckily the husband heard all of the commotion this time and was also convinced the house was being haunted but unlike most cases this family didn't bless the house as they didn't want to annoy the spirit they left it be and tried to ignore it little did they know that this was a huge mistake and things were about to get physical because my surge is six that i won i gave you six points i'm deducting seven this is ridiculous don't make me think about numbers again a brave and accurate decision yes my captain yes yeah holy captain your whole culture is harvestable ah good call thank you my very very happily in thank he's hungry at first, it's very difficult to understand what happened in this clip, but if we zoom in very closely, we can see the woman's hair gets pulled by thin air. She darted up as this obviously would have harmed her, but when she realized no one did it, she knew her unwelcome guest was back at it. Regardless, both her and the husband continued to live there, unblessed, and there has reportedly been much less paranormal activity. It's hard to tell whether the ghost is getting bored or only just starting.